Hypothesis 1. A sunspot cycle peak occurred on or near the same date on which the sun's equator aligned with the plane of the Milky Way galaxy when the sun and earth aligned with the black hole in galactic core. This start date for all subsequent measurements mentioned in this article may be given as midnight between Thursday, December 20th, 2012, and Friday, December 21st, 2012, or, more simply, as December 21st, 2012. The sunspot peak was, at that time, in what heliophysicists call cycle 24. Hypothesis 2. 11 years, 0 months, 0 weeks, 11 days, 11 hours, 11 minutes, and 11 seconds equals 1 solar cycle. But why? Let's begin to look at some data we may generate online using the website timeanddate.com from and including midnight between Thursday, December 20th, 2012 and Friday, December 21st, 2012 by counting forward one solar cycle of 11 years, 11 days, 11 hours, 11 minutes, and 11 seconds. The result is the date Monday, January 1st, 2024 at 11, 11, 11 a.m. Counting back one such solar cycle, the date we arrive at is Sunday, December 9th, 2001 at 12, 48, 49 p.m. Or counting forward another Friday, January 12th, 2035, at 10, 22, 22 p.m. Does this possible correlation to the 1111 timestamp mean also indicate the smallest solar cycle, as proposed by Maurice Cotterell, in a much longer spanning cycle involving alignments of the Sun, Earth, and galactic core as occurred on December 21st, 2012? How often does this event occur, and what relationship does it have to the sunspot cycle? The lowest amount of sunspots during the so-called Monner Minimum occurred sometime between 1650 and 1700 A.D. Gregorian. This may imply that, at that time, also marked by some as the middle of the Kali Yuga in the Vedic Hindu calendrical manner, the Earth would have been at a 90 degree or right angle out of alignment with a line drawn directly between the Sun and galactic core. This would put Earth's orbital perigee position at its aeonic seasonal solstice date at a point around approximately some 312 to 362 years before 2012 AD. The sum 352 is evenly divisible by 11, being 11 times 32, and would give the year 1660 AD as the lowest point of the Maunder Minimum. The exact calculation would be Sunday, January 15th, 1660 AD at 12, 48, 49 p.m. So, if a sunspot peak occurred in cycle 24 during 2012 AD, and a sunspot 
trough occurred during the Maunder Minimum around the year 1660 AD, then we may posit a periodicity between such a peak in 2012 and such a trough in 1660 as lasting 352 years. Thus, a period from one peak to another, or from one trough to another, would be approximately 352 years times 2 equals 704 years. This is to say that Tuesday, February 21st, 1307 AD, at 1248.49 p.m. is exactly 257,792 days, 11 hours, 11 minutes, and 11 seconds prior to midnight, December 21st, 2012 A.D. 515,584 days, or two such periods, sooner would have been Saturday, May 6th, 601 A.D. at 1248.49 p.m. 20 times 11 equals 220. 32 times 11 equals 352. 20 plus 32 equals 52. 52 times 11 equals 572. 601 minus 572 equals 29. So what is the significance of the sum 572 and why subtract it from 601 to arrive at 29? Incidentally, 180 times 11 equals 1980. Saturday, April 16th, 29 AD, until and including Friday, December 21st, 2012, counts a total of 724,528 days, or 1,983 years, and 238 days, including the end date. According to scripture, the date Saturday, April 16, 29 A.D., was a Sabbath day, the 15th of the month of Nisan, a Hebrew Passover Eve, and, moreover, the night of a full moon. This was the date of the crucifixion of Christ. Hypothesis 3 4,138.75 days equals 11 years of 365.25 days apiece plus 121 days, the sum of an additional 11 days per each of the 11 years. 4,138.75 days Divide into 724,528 days, the sum of all days from the death of Jesus until the final day of the Mayan 13th Bacton, 175.05 bit cycles of 4,138.75 days, 11 years, 11 days each. The difference between 175 such 11-year, 11 11-day-long 11 bit cycles being a total of 724,281 days and the slightly longer duration from Christ's crucifixion to the Mayan 13th Bacton end date being a total of 724,528 days is only 246.75 days. Incidentally, 242 
equals 22 times 11. The date exactly 175 bit cycles of 4138.75 days each earlier than December 21st, 2012 AD would have been Monday, December 19th, 29 AD. Hypothesis 4. 1,448,562 days equals 3,965.94 years of 365.25 days apiece. Or two such 175-bit mega cycles of 724,281 days each. Thus, 3,965.94 years before 2012 would be around the year 1953 BC. Incidentally, 175 times 11 equals 1,925. What this all means is that while we are at cycle 24 now, we were likely experiencing the same or very similar solar conditions to those in 2012 in the year 29 AD and in the year 1953 BC as well. If we use the most basic bit unit of the sunspot cycle as being 11 years, 11 days, 11 hours, 11 minutes, and 11 seconds, then we may calculate the likely amount of solar activity for any given date in recorded human history. Thus, 2012 AD was a relative peak, and 1660 AD was a relative trough. We may thus establish a bit unit between any peak and its adjacent trough of 352 years of 365.25 days apiece. Therefore, around 1308 AD was another, perhaps slighter, such peak, and likewise, around 956 AD was probably another solar minimum. 604 AD would have constituted another peak and 252 AD another minimum until we reach the most recent mega cycle peak in 100 BC, the birth year of Gaius Julius Caesar. If we measure these intervals exactly, using the ratios of 11 years, 11 days, 11 hours, etc., we would subtract 128,568 days, 352 years, from 2012 to arrive at 1660, and thus subtract 128 1,568 days from Sunday, January 15th, 1660 A.D. at 12.48.49 p.m. to arrive at Tuesday, January 23rd, 13.08 A.D. at 1.37.38 a.m. Likewise, 128,568 days prior to that date would have been Wednesday, January 30th, 956 A.D. at 2.26.27 p.m. 128,568 days before that would have been Thursday, February 6th, 604 A.D. at 3.15.16 p.m.
and 128,568 days before that would have been Friday, February 13th, 252 AD at 4.04.05 p.m. Around 222 years, or precisely 81,141 days, before that date, the 175th bit cycle prior to 2012's cycle 24 occurred on December 19th, 29 AD and 81,378 days prior to Friday the 13th, 252 AD was the crucifixion on April 16th, 29 AD. The difference between 81,378 days and 81,141 days is only 237 days. Incidentally, 21 times 11 equals 231.